Time and temperature brought to you by the Georgia Lottery. Today could be the day. Good morning, America. As we start a new week, fires and floods, more rain drenching Kentucky, and California's largest wildfire of the season is burning out of control. Deadly Inferno, the McKinney fire exploding in size, torching more than 51,000 acres, more than 100 structures destroyed, people having only minutes to escape, homes reduced to ash. In some cases, only a mailbox left behind, with more evacuations expected today and the new warnings this morning. From fires to floods, overnight, more rain falling in Kentucky after that catastrophic flash flooding, the death toll rising, but dozens still missing. What's making the search for survivors extremely complicated? President Biden tests positive again, experiencing a rebound COVID case, the latest on his condition this morning. Putin's new warning, what he just announced about hypersonic missiles, calling the U.S. a major security threat as Russia steps up its brutal assault on southern Ukraine and the first food cargo ship leaving the Ukrainian port this morning since the start of the war. Down to the wire. Democrats racing to pass a climate and health care bill. What it would mean for your health insurance, medication for seniors, and how it would impact inflation. New royal scandal. Prince Charles facing questions after his charity accepted more than a million dollars from the family of Osama bin Laden. Will Smith's apology. I'm human and I made a mistake. Addressing the moment he slapped Chris Rock at this year's Oscars on camera for the first time. What Rock said about it in a show over the weekend. And celebrating two of the greatest trailblazers, NBA legend Bill Russell, a giant on and off the court with 11 titles who transformed the game of basketball and dedicated his life to equality and social justice. And actress Nichelle Nichols. See, in our century, we've learned not to fear words. Who lit up the galaxy on Star Trek, changing the landscape of television. How Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. talked her into staying on the show and her fight to open doors for women and people of color to be astronauts. Live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America. We did lose some giants this yeah. weekend. And Pat we? as well. Yeah. Quite a weekend. Good morning, Eric. I hope you're starting your week okay. We have a lot to get to this morning. We're going to start with that severe weather from coast to coast. Yes, we are, George. It is a summer of extremes. The more rain rocking Kentucky overnight after that catastrophic flooding, the death toll rising there this morning. And in California, the McKinney fire is raging out of control. And this morning, crews are really struggling to contain the flames while facing heat, thunderstorms, and wind that could make the fire even bigger. Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman is there on the scene for us there in California. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning.